Hey again everyone, uh, another really really quick video for you. Um, I'm just on the end of a very late lunch break so I'll try not to take too long. Um, a few days ago I posted a video on my Instagram where I was following a video tutorial from the Ableton Live YouTube channel on how to use take lanes to mash up multiple drum loops or melody phrases within a single um, audio part. And that kind of got me thinking like, well, isn't that possible to do in Reason somehow? Because I, I generally prefer Reason's comping system, uh, not to mention many other things as well. Um, and I was just sat downstairs working it out. I was like, yeah, this, this is going to work. So I've just come upstairs. I've given it a quick run through and it definitely does work. So I'm going to show you how to do it now. Now I've gone through and I've just found uh, one, two, three, four, five, six uh, drum breaks. And <clears> the <throat> first thing we need to do is get them in time. So to do that, I'm just going to hold control while I resize them and then just set them to fit the nearest number of, uh, of bars. So one, two, and two. And then this one will just double. So first of all, I'm just going to check that they all play back uh, in time. Yep, that all works. That's fine. Now, what we're going to do is we want to record all of these onto a single uh, audio clip. And every time we do that, it's going to stack it as a new audio take. So in order to do that, uh, I'm going to set my loop range to give me one extra bar, and that's going to give me time to, to go through each one. In the mixer, I'm going to grab all of these and I'm going to bust them and we'll just call this um, breakbeats. And then in the rack, we'll set the bus channel that we just made as a recording source. And what this lets you do is choose this as an audio input for any audio track rather than uh, a hardware input on your interface. Now I'm going to make an audio track. We'll set the input as stereo and the source as breakbeats. I'll make sure that pre-roll is on. I've got my extra bar of padding go into the mixer and what we'll do is we'll just solo each one in turn as we cycle record uh, and then it should stack them into one clip. Okay, so now we've done that, uh, I'm going to mute these clips because I don't need them. I mean, I could just delete them, but uh, I'll keep them in place for now. And we'll drag this in to be two bars, put ourselves back on cycle. And if I go into comp edit now, each one of these lanes represents uh, a different drum loop. So now all you have to do, grab your razor tool and just start making some cuts. And it sounds sick. Uh, the really cool thing about that is obviously because it's non-destructive, you can work on a pattern that you like in here, and then you can go into another instance of the clip. Uh, if you wanted to, you could just, um, I think you can delete these. Yeah, you can. Delete these and then just start again and make a new mashup. There you go. That is how you do a uh, comp lane drum loop mashing. Um, I'm sure there's a few different directions you could take this in. I think it would work really well with uh, perhaps vocal chops or uh, melodic phrases. So one idea that was in the Ableton tutorial was to record the same melodic phrase on say three or four different patches um, and then use the, the uh, comping system to you know switch to a different note, uh, switch to a different sound like just for one note uh, and do those really nice kind of like abrupt um, sort of mashup style changes. So yeah, that's really cool. I hope that's kind of given a few of you some ideas, definitely given me some ideas. I'll, I'll try and incorporate this into a, into a track sometime. So let me know what you think in the comments below. And it is now time for me to come off my lunch. So I will catch you guys next time. Uh, if not here, then on Twitch in a bit.